Hey guys, in this feature drop video, we're gonna be checking out a couple of new features we've just launched on our NFT API. The first one is verified collections. So every NFT collection now has a new property called verified collection, and this can be true or false, and it's initially based on OpenSea's classification. So for any collections you see on OpenSea that have this blue check mark, meaning that it's verified, CryptoPunks, Pudgy Penguins, CryptoKitties, this will now be reflected in our API. And in future, this will get extended to other marketplaces to like Blur and LooksRare. It's available on all NFT endpoints. So that's metadata, transfers, owners, wherever you see either token or collection information, you'll now get this new flag. The data itself is refreshed and resynced as part of the metadata resync endpoint. So you can always be sure it's up to date. If a new collection that drops later becomes verified, you can easily use this resync endpoint to update its status. A second feature we've launched today is the ability to exclude spam NFTs and NFT contracts when fetching a wallet. So by default, we when you fetch NFTs or collections by a wallet, we return everything in that wallet and we give you the possible spam indicator, true or false. With this new exclude, query parameter, if you set this to true, we'll never return those contracts in the first place. So if they've been marked for spam for whatever reason, could be imitation, copycats, known scam artists, whatever the reason, if it's been marked as spam and this is set to true, they'll be excluded from all results. So if we jump over to our little demo app to see this in a bit more detail, for the purposes of this, I'm gonna be using this uh, demo, uh, this, this wallet address and putting it into our little demo app here. So we load in the profile data. It's quite a big whale here. It's got tons of tokens, tons of NFTs, and it's the NFTs we're interested in for this little demo. So straight away, you can see the blue tick check marks are appearing on these verified collections. We've got a lot of Uniswap position NFTs, a lot of doodles, Verified collections, mutant apes, bored apes, moonbirds, and then if we scroll further down, you can see there's a couple of NFTs here which uh, are not spam but are not verified, so they don't have this blue check mark. If we keep scrolling down, we'll also hit all of these spam NFTs. So these could be airdrops, they could be copycats, Blurred Ape Yacht Club in this case, uh, but you can see there's tons and tons and tons and tons here. This is something we have uh, measures in place to pick up and identify these contracts and label them as spam or suspicious. And up until now, we've been relying on building features such as this with this possible spam indicator. So if it's true, in the cases of these, you can mark it as possibly spam in your own apps or choose to exclude it. With today's update, so including this exclude spam query parameter, you now have the option to exclude spam altogether. So if we just take a look at this and again, reload the little demo app, get the profile information, reload the NFTs, you can see all of the verified items are coming back, all the doodles, board apes, but none of those spam NFTs are coming through anymore. So that's with the query parameter. If we include the spam, just to return everything again, we'll then see all of the spam returned. So it's just a quick uh, showcase of both of these features. One is around the, the verified collection and being able to signal to your users the genuine collections. And then a second one is exclude spam, being able to exclude spam in the first instance so you never even load them. That's about it for this video. The next video will be more of a product showcase where we'll take a more in-depth look at our spam feature in general, not just on the assets, but actually looking at how you can build in spam into a timeline view like this, where we can see some spammy airdrops and some spam uh, swap events occurring. So with that in mind, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.